Let's take a look at the Viper 2. Let's look at the uncrating process. The first thing when you receive the Viper 2, you want to just take a walk around the whole crate. Just visually inspect it. Make sure that you don't see any signs of physical damage. Doesn't look like it was dropped. You also want to take a look at the tilt watch indicator. Make sure that it hasn't been triggered. To actually unpack the machine, you're going to want some kind of a knife or a box cutter, and then you're going to want a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, if you have something powered, like an electric drill with a Phillips head bit, this makes the job a lot easier. And we're going to simply remove the screws. Then we will remove the lid. Now the crated weight of the machine is approximately 340 pounds. But it really is going to depend on how you order the machine. If you have more accessories with the machine where you ordered extra inks and things of that nature, it's going to add weight to it. Uh, same thing with platens. If you ordered additional platens, that's all going to add weight. But it's approximately 340 pounds. The machine itself is approximately 150 pounds. Um, so we're definitely going to want two people when it comes to the actual uncrating of the machine itself. We're going to start by removing the contents of the crate. Any platens that you had ordered as part of your startup kit, we're going to remove those. As well as the accessories box. Now this box is going to be a little heavy. There's a few gallons of liquid in here. So... And... Again... This is going to vary based on what you actually ordered. So I'm going to set this off to the side here. And let's just take a look of some of the things that you should have in this box. Again, this will vary slightly. And just some basic things. Some samples of release paper. Your syringe for cleaning. The small box labeled DTG Rip Pro C6, that's your ripping software. You're going to have cartridges that are clear. This is your flushing solution. Got some white ink, your color ink, some more flushing solution, and now the rest of my color and white ink. You're also going to have your pre treat for your. Light colored garments, your white garments, where you're not using white ink. You've got your pre-treat for your dark garments, where we are going to use white ink. And then we've got a spare front end for the manual Wagner sprayer. And, of course, the sprayer itself. And that would be the contents of the Viper 2. Now... Let's pull it out of the crate. When we do this, you're definitely going to want to have somebody to give you a hand with this process. And when 
we lift it, you want to make sure you do not lift it from the front and back bed areas. We want to lift it from the sides. We'll get this gentleman here. Chad is going to give us a hand. Set it on a nice sturdy table, and then we'll just unpack it. Be very careful when you're cutting this. I'm going to remove the shrink wrap. Now on the back of the machine, you're going to find your power cord and some little accessory things in the back. Okay. And that's how we uncrate the Viper 2. So let's continue on unpacking the printer. We're going to remove all the tape that you see on the printer. So remove this little protective film up on the top. And inside where your waste bottle is, you've got tape holding your waste bottle down. So we're going to remove that. While you're in here, now is a really good time to also check to make sure the shutoff valve is open, which is all the way in the up position, so that the waste can flow into the waste bottle. And on the front of the machine was our little accessory package with our USB cable and our power cord. So we're now going to power up the machine by plugging in the power cord and the USB cable.